hands off Dr. Weisfeld. So, as y'all may have heard, in um, from from Jason Unruh, from Dark Sonovia, from uh, da, da, uh, from uh, Comrade Nair, Maxwell Glover, and uh, um, uh, what's it, uh, Pagan Nicole, is the in uh, Canada, our comrade Dr. Weisfeld has been put under attack by the Zionist lobby uh, within Canada, as in they have tried to pull phony mischief charges on him for merely displaying a sign that is issues and requests for the respect of Palestinians, um, uh, basically as a subversive form of protest during, um, oh, is it Israel, Israeli day? It was a day where people were celebrating the pseudo nation that is Israel. And so, um, we need to come together and show solidarity for our comrade and look to this as a continued exploitation of uh you know uh, the the uh, the survivors of the holocaust and the generations to follow them dr weisfeld is a uh, second generation holocaust survivor he was born uh very near after the war um his mother was a, a freedom fighter in the uh, in the Warsaw, Warsaw, the Warsaw uprising, um, and so uh, we're talking about someone with a very deep history connected with this. He's had family in uh, different concentration camps, like, um, and we've seen this occur historically uh, within Europe, within America, where the Zionists will target. Jewish people whom speak out against their abuses, very much targeting many first and second generation Holocaust survivors. Um, we've all seen this with the targeting of, I know he's kind of fallen off track these days, but Norman, Finkelst Norman Finkelstein, um, we've seen a lot of this with him, not just by the Zionists, but also by uh, Zionist appeasing uh, uh, groups as well. Um, Dr. Weisfeld has faced very similar condemnation throughout his life, but has also been a victim on the front line of protests inside of Israel. And, uh, you know, so um, Dr. Weisfeld is someone who has a target based on his uh, painted on his back by the Zionists and they seek to destroy his ability uh, to actuate freely in protest against their bullshit, putting him in a situation where he is being labeled as someone whom in protest action would be perceived as mischievous. If anything, what Dr. Weisfeld has done was incredibly mild and, uh, you know, nothing compared to what these people deserve to be met in protest. You know, protests don't have to be servile. I, you know, anyone with half a fucking brain cell to rub together knows this. Uh, civility politics is violent in what it does to those of us in destitute positions. Um, whom are under the boot and heel of oppression. We can't just sit and launder around the logic of civility politics where we have to either shut our mouths and hope the government does something in our fucking, uh, in the purview of what in which we want to be done. And I don't think the Canadian government are going to be pushing for acceptance of Palestinian struggle against Israel, are they? Or a lot of other struggles that we do need to entice and engage with and show support for. So there is an obvious idiocracy that comes into this ideation of civility politics. And so we must understand that this situation is a part of a framework that has long been constructed 
by Zionism since the post-Holocaust period, where anyone speaking out against them is seen as um, uh, undermining the history of the Holocaust, even people whom themselves are survivors or second-generation survivors of said Holocaust. It's... Uh, uh, so we need to come and stand in solidarity with Dr. Weisfeld. There will be further litigations on what is going on in this mischief court hearing soon to come. I'll be doing a joint, con a joint piece of content with uh, Comrade Pagan Nicole. We need to come out in solidarity and support. Red salute, comrades. Don't be a slave to the Zionists! Because I am a refugee from Poland. My uncle, he was a partisan fighting against fascism. Don't make fascism here in Palestine. Jewish, you cannot shoot anybody. You cannot kill anybody. You cannot hurt anybody if you are Jewish.